So in this video, I want to tell you guys the story about how I quit my job and I started selling websites and made $7,000 last year. Last year, right? So, but before I get into that, let me just start with my story. Uh, I studied computer science, first of all. So I just didn't start making websites last year. I've been making websites since I was a child. I, I actually learned how to make websites when I was a child. So I do know how to code, first of all. But after graduating, I graduated in the middle of COVID in 2021. And that was a confusing time for me because I was in university by myself. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with myself. Um, I had no clue what I wanted to do with my life. And if you check my page, I, I have a story where I shared about how I got a software developer job which was not about building websites, it was more about databases, but I didn't like the job and I eventually even got fired from that job too. And that also sent me down a downward spiral from 2021 up until 2023. After losing my first software developer job, I didn't get a high paying job like that one ever again, right? So the second job I got was like a tech support job at Apple. So I was working for Apple for in to, up until 2023 August. Then in 2023 August, again, I got fired from Apple because I really wasn't enthusiastic about that job, if I'm being honest. You know, I was just doing it, and I guess that reflected in my work, right? So be careful with the type of jobs you take just cause, because it will reflect in your work, first of all. So you might as well do something you love, right? So I ended up picking up a... I ended up picking up a warehouse job. Crazy, right? Computer science degree major, working in a warehouse. And for the first month of that job, I was working so hard, lifting all these tires, and going through doing the most, bro. Like, I was going through the most. And one day, my, my hand, my hand literally started hurting me. My hands were swollen from lifting all those tires for eight hours. So... I, I couldn't literally go back to work the next day. So I called in and I told my boss, like, yo, my hands are hurting and I don't think I can come into work and lift some tires. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Like, that's going to literally break my palm. And he was like, okay, that's cool. Just stay at home. But when I stayed home, I had some time to think. And I just started thinking to myself, like, and funny enough, that same week where my hands were hurting was the week of our first paycheck, right? So I'd only worked there for like, I had only worked there for like two weeks. So that was the first week of our paycheck. So I got paid. And after getting paid, I, I remember the check being like maybe $600. And at that time, my rent was like $1,000. Plus, I had other bills. I had a car. I had insurance. Uh, you know, things like that. <laughs> it was crazy. So I was terrified for my life. Like, am I going to go homeless? Obviously, I, I wasn't going to go homeless, but your mind will play those tricks on you and be like, yo, bro, you're going to go homeless if you don't act now. And all those things were just popping in my head like, yo, this is not working out. Like $600, but you need to pay $400 in rent. What about your car? What about the water bill? Things like that, Wi-Fi. So all those things were in my head and I was like, wow, this shit is not going to work out. My hand is not even, my hand is literally hurting me. So I can't even go back to work for, the, for a couple of days. So I'm not even going to be able to meet up, literally. Oof. That night, I was, I remember my friend being there with me and my friend, me and I, my friend were just discussing and talking about life, right? And how we can, we should start acting out. And funny enough, we were so inspired, Ginger, that we're going to start selling these websites together, me and my friend, because I told him that, yo, bro, like, I can actually sell, I can actually make websites. And I had searched on YouTube how to sell websites. And I saw this guy that was selling websites for even like $5,000 which is crazy, right? He, he was selling his website for $5,000 to bigger corporations or something. And he said, like, people don't know that making websites is actually a in-demand skill. And if you know how to sell it, you can make some money, right? So I, I stumbled into that video on YouTube. And I told my friend, yo, I can design the website and you can do sales. And both of us can also, you know, do sales together. That way, two of us are working towards the same goal and we're building the website. And we talked about this for hours, the night, right? And we were so hyped. 
but we woke up the next day i woke up early the next day because i was tired of going through the same shit over and over and over again and when i woke up i noticed my friend didn't wake up he was he was still sleeping and i was and that just gave me in my head and when he finally woke up he woke up at 10 a.m before 10 a.m i already built my website i already designed the logo i already done so much stuff because i was so inspired you can check it all out at the link in the description check out my business and my website and all those things and you see all of the work that I have i have done from then until now last year up until now right so i woke up and i designed the logo built my own website for a company that builds websites and does other things mind you i've also been i've also been into facebook ads and tiktok ads google ads for years because i used to i used to produce music and to market my music, I had to learn how to run Facebook ads while I was in university. Like, my, my life story is crazy, guys. Like, you learn so much about me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. But I used to run ads and make ads and make all these things for my music, album covers. So that's how I got all these skills for Photoshop. And all those skills helped me in my business. And like I said, I was at the time crunch because I had bills coming up and I had things that I needed to fulfill. So if I don't get this done, then I'm stuck. So I literally had to sit down and figure out all my skills. Mind you, I had read so many books about metaphysics and spiritual and you know your frequency, your vibration, things like that. I, I, was, really, I was really studying self-development because I knew this was the transition for me to develop myself into something else, right? And so I built my website and I started and from that day onward, I promised myself I am never going back to that warehouse because it didn't make sense for me that my hand could hurt and I wouldn't get paid because I can't. I physically can't do the job, you know? I physically can't. It's not like I don't want to. I just, I just physically can't. I just physically couldn't do it. So quitting the job actually put me in a position of, wow, you have to lock in. You have to focus. I was waking up early. I was going to the gym. I was locked in. And I wrote down all my skills, digital marketing, Facebook ads, building websites, graphic design, video content, media. I wrote all my skills that I, I learned from school and also being a musician and producing all those content for myself and my music and my ads, right? And I wrote that down and I built it into a website, <laughs> For my business that these are all the things i have to offer and these are my skills and just by doing that my mind started to work and my mind started to play my mind started to figure out everything as i went like because i had no choice i had no parachute i had no option if i don't figure it out i am stuck i am homeless that's what my mind was telling me which which might have not been true but here we are today right <laughs> and <clears throat> from that moment i just the first thing my mind told me was, yo, check around you and find business consultants who, who may be in touch with a lot of people who want to start businesses. That's a good way for you to sell websites. So the first thing I did, I went online, searched for all the business consultants around me, and boom, I started taking action, started calling people, started doing all those things I needed to do. Like My mind was just working as I went because I knew that this had to work. This has to work. This has to work. This has to work. This has to work. I have no other option. This has to work. This has to work. This has to work. This has to work. So my mind was just producing and God was just giving the answers. The universe was just down. I was just getting downloads on a daily basis of what I needed to do to actually achieve my goal. And boom. One thing, like, the thing about it is, like, I can't even explain how it all happens, but... I would go to these places and I'll tell people what I can do and I'll tell them my story, how I study computer science and how I'm going through all this and how to, you know, and those people will refer me to other people and boom, 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 boom. First website sold $2,000. I paid my rent. Second website sold $2,000. I paid my rent. I ran Google ads for somebody. I, I got paid like $1,500. You know, money just they coming to me from different angles and it was like mind blowing to me. Like, I was like, whoa, this is actually working. So, that's the whole point of this video. I want to show you that you have skills, first of all. Everyone has something they can do. 
a service they can provide, things that they can offer to other people who may not have the time or the resources to do them, and they just need your help, right? You have skills that you can harness to make some money. But the problem is you're not going all in, first of all. Shout out to Simon Squibb, right? I love Simon Squibb. I see all his videos. I don't know if anybody knows Simon Squibb, but I don't know if you know Simon Squibb, but I know people know Simon Squibb, but I don't know if you know Simon Squibb. But if you know Simon Squibb, leave a comment and say, I know Simon Squibb. Simon Squibb is powerful because he says, like, to chase your dreams, you literally have to quit your job. He says it, and he's, a, he's, he's worth over $100 million, right? Simon Squibb says you have to go all in because if you don't go all in, you, you keep giving yourself excuses. You keep giving yourself excuses to why the business can't work. And he's totally right. Because the moment I did that job and I focused and I locked in, my mind started figuring out all the ideas and all the things I needed to do to achieve my goals and pay my rent, which was my primary goal. I just need to pay my rent for this month, pay my rent for the next month, right? That was it. So it happened. It worked out. And now today, if you check the description in my bio, you'd see that my business, I've worked with so many people. I've built so many websites. I've run so many ads. I've started even doing video commercials. I've started producing commercials for different companies. So just click the link below and it will just inspire you and show you that you can start something. Start something and, and believe in yourself and stop, stop, you know, being in your own way because your dreams are valid because you know what you know and focus on what you know. I know that these skills are valuable. You have skills that are valuable to other people. You have resources that are valuable to other people that you can share you can you can use to help their company you can use to help them make money you can use to help them save time and go all out and lock in and trust me when i say this this will all work out peace subscribe check out my business and yeah start your dream